Hey guys, it's Natalie here. How you going? I'm back again for another live mini class. I'm just logging onto my Facebook so I can see what I've got here in front of me. Bear with me just a second. How's everybody's afternoon going? And I think I'm gonna have to turn the volume down. How's everybody's afternoon going? Yep. Turn the volume right down. Turn my comments on. Beautiful. So, this afternoon, I thought I would do a little art journal page using Lindy's Magicals and a little bit of collage paper. Um, my, probably one of my top, um, Stencils I use a lot, my colour wheel um, stencil, and just go through a bit of a process here on a couple of things that um, can look really good and putting colours together in your art journal. So what I have discovered um, with my lovely technical difficulties I've been having, that if you go back and watch it, it, it goes through pretty much um, hiccup free. So no skipping and no extra little bits of drama um so jessica's in the room with me she's madly picking orders for me this afternoon um and as i mentioned over the last couple of videos the all the orders are going to be posted on monday so if you decide that you would like to add to your order that would be fantastic um you just need to make sure that you only pay for postage once and select perhaps pick up the second time so um, and I will marry up all the orders uh, there's no more orders to be well I'm, I'm trying to only do it on Monday all the orders will be ready by then so uh, you probably at this stage if you are local and would like to pick up uh, I encourage you to perhaps do that on Monday um, so all right so I'm just starting off here I have my little art journal here and I have pre-gessoed my page. Because I'm going to be using water, I need to make sure that my, my paper is sealed so that it doesn't bleed through. So I used some white gesso and, and covered that completely. The next thing I'm going to do is use my paintbrush, here we go. Uh, and apply some of the scrap effects um, collage paper they're rice papers because I really really like this paper um, and it adds a nice little bit of interest to my art journal so for those of you who don't know what art journaling is all about art journaling is different for everybody for me art journaling is an expression of, of creativity to be able to create and then turn the page. I certainly understand that art journaling is not for everybody and I appreciate that. Um, but for me, it's the, it's the opportunity to create something and then turn the page, try something new, play with a new technique. So I'm using gel medium to stick this down because gel medium is, is going to dry clear and it's like an adhesive. So I'm putting it straight onto my page, just where my, uh, where, I, where I know that the collage paper is going to be. And I'm also making sure that it is straight. But the other thing I'm doing is making sure that it is stuck down completely with no loose edges. Um, hi Phoebe, how are you? Uh, and I'm making sure that I'm completely coating it with gel medium because I need the consistency and the surface to remain the same. I don't want it, I don't want it to be uh, porous, so I need to make sure that I'm completely covering it. And then I'm polishing it off with my finger. So the reason I'm polishing it with my finger is so that I don't get any brush strokes. And to make sure I've got no air bubbles. Hey there, Joanne. Um, and to make sure that it, and it helps with the, with the drying as well. And I'm going to run another piece over the top. 
up here because we tend to do things we need to do things in threes to make them visual make it visually pleasing so I pop that up there and then do exactly the same thing straight over the top and I'm not drowning it with gel medium I am just giving it a nice a nice coat hey there Melissa how are you honey how's your day going so polishing it off again just with my fingers just to help up the drying time so the gel medium that I am using is my my go-to gel medium it is the chromical impasto gel medium it actually has a bit of body to it as well and that's what I like it's about $20 for a, a tub something along those lines but it'll last quite a while because a little bit goes a really long way so we currently have plenty of those in stock you do need to make sure that your brush is completely cleaned because gel medium is an adhesive and it will um, clog up your clog up your paintbrush pretty quickly um, just off camera here I've got a water well and I tend to make sure that that's really 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 dried okay so what I'm going to do now is just give it a little bit of a gesso as well because this black and white writing is really quite strong so I'm going to use what am I going to use I'm going to use my catalyst tool so the 13 arch gesso that I have here is fantastic because it is white and it is everyone knows that it is my go-to gel medium uh, sorry gel medium gesso because it is lovely and white and it's like um, I guess like a, a nice white paint but it's also a sealer it goes on a little gluggy and that is fine because it then with the palette knife I'm just making it nice and smooth and I'm not totally covering up my totally covering up my um, collage paper I'm just adding or just toning it down a bit actually because it's the background it's not the hero oh ladies and gentlemen Vicky Booten has just popped oh, in Vicky. Jessica says hello Vicky I say hi how are you sweetheart oh my gosh um so I'm I'm just lightly going over the top just to tone down that beautiful print it, I, it's going to be the background it's not the feature my feature is going to be the stencils and the magicals all right so you can kind of see that that's toned it down nicely but I can still see that it is sitting there alrighty so my catalyst tool everyone knows how much I love this baby I mean seriously have a look at it it's a bit gross but it is my go-to tool for applying paints and mediums um, gel medium it's like you're buttering toast you just swipe it up and down and it just works an absolute treat um, that color wheel stencil this is a stencil girl stencil and this one is called the hue tint tone shade stencil so this is the one that I'm going to be using today um, Jessica, could you grab for me my tiny little Dina Wakeley album, please? I will show you while this is just air drying. These ones? Let me see. Yeah, the little baby one. No, 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 the square one. Yeah, that one. And I'm just going to quickly dry this off. All right, so what we are aiming at doing is this something along these lines. This is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So this is what the um, stencil looks like. Uh, but instead of using it with texture paste and with, um, you know, paints and bits and pieces, we're just going to use the Lindy's Magicals. So... Positioning. I want to do a couple of them on my page. This is pretty much dry. Um, stencil girl, Vicky. 
stencil girl. All right, I'm gonna pop one there and I think I'll pop one down here and one down there. So what I'm going to do, oh, that's not dry. What I'm gonna do is uh, dry it, totally. Jessica, can you find me in the Stencil Girl packets the um, packaging for the Stencil Girl stencil? Down there. On the shelf, babe. So this weekend, all my stencils are online at nataliemay.com. 15% uh, off. This is the stencil. This is designed by Pam Carricker incredibly talented artist and she does a range of stencils for stencil girl and they are just awesome they have just got she's got the best designs and very very practical so all right sorry guys so what i'm going to do now is lightly trace out some of this with my pencil um so that I've got a bit of a guide on where my my colours are going to go. Uh, gives me some boundaries. I'm going to go over this with pen when I'm finished, but just giving me a bit of a a light a light uh, guide as to where my edges are, so that when I go over the top, I can with a pen and make it all pretty. The shapes will have some definition and it will look amazing. So how are we all doing this afternoon? It's a bit um, overcast and ordinary here. The sun keeps popping out through the clouds. I did just quickly have some lunch, had a friend drop over and say hey and stood in the backyard in the sun um, for a couple of minutes chatting to her, but I don't think we're going to have too much more sun left for today. Apparently tomorrow's um, a good day. Oh, Jessica's just said tomorrow's going to be a good day. Because Dad's going, oh, Dad's going fishing. <laughs> uh, Sally's laying in bed watching. Yep, thanks, Sal. Uh, I Tomorrow I've got two more live Facebooks planned. So I know I'm going to be doing cards with magicals in the morning. And in the afternoon... What's on the list for this up in the afternoon, Jess? Collage paper in art journal. Collage paper in art journal. Ah, okay. I could change my mind by then. Anything's possible. But um, I'll be doing another little art journal page. We could use the pop art Lucy. So um, it's all good. Bit wet in Bendigo. Well, rain is good. Shame it's not going to wash that virus away. I but say. Um, okay, so this is just a loose guide that I'm drawing. Um, I know it's boring to watch, but it gives me a bit of an idea where my colours are going to go because I do want them to gently bleed into each other. And I missed a bit there, but we kind of get the idea. Freezing in Griffith, New South Wales. Yeah. I don't think it's ideal in um, some of the other states at the moment. Um, so just while I'm doing this, um, the online this weekend on my website is 15% off stamps and stencils. So this little stencil here that I'm using is discounted as well as all my stamps. I've got a great range of Dina Wakeley stamps and stencils. I also have some nice new Tim Holtz designs out as well. Um, what else is there? Plenty of stencil girl. Got a big delivery in. Uh, Jessica this afternoon just loaded up the new uniquely creative paper collection, the Gums and Roses. Oh, that's beautiful. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So you'll find that in the new for July section. So plenty of goodies there. All right, let's get to the good stuff because that was really boring. <laughs> um, so we're going to be using the Lindy's Magicals. So I've got them all laid out here in front of me in a little bit of a, an order that I want to work with. So everybody knows that as the educator for Lindy's, it's my job to show you how awesome they are. 
So the Lindy's Magicals are a pigment dye based powder. So what that means is the pigment means that they are full of colour. The dye means that they are permanent and the powder means that you need to activate it to get the magic to happen. So as you can see, all I have done is I've put a little bit of powder on my glass mat and just dipping my paintbrush into it and I've got a beautiful, lovely, intense colour. So I'm going to be super loose in colouring my wedges because uh, I know that I'm going to add some black pen doodling over the top and I'm, I'm more than happy to just spread that out a little and I can tone it down just with my baby wipe like so even my oh no my finger was dirty let's not do that um so i'm just going to whip through and color these and you can see i barely use any so that first color was yodeling yellow grab a guy gold is the next one i'm going to use and same thing just off camera here i've just got my little water well uh so this next color grab a guy gold now this one is a needs a little bit more. When do you special finish, please? Tina, what does that mean? <laughs> when does your special finish? Oh, when does my special finish? <laughs> um, I'll probably keep it going until maybe Tuesday night, Wednesday, something along those lines. Does that work in for you, honey? <laughs> I think that that will be the case. Um, give you the opportunity to have another good look through the website and see if there's anything else in there that you need or you don't need. I I will keep the, um, I think I've set it to, to run, yeah, till, till maybe Wednesday night, so, but I'll look into that. All right, so nice and simple, and I'm, as you can see, being really, really loose with it. Hey, Sharon, thanks for tuning in. Um, so if you get any crappy internet connection, um, I mentioned earlier, you can come back and watch it. And when you go back and watch it again, because I'll save it on my Facebook and then also load it up to YouTube, um, you actually get on almost uninterrupted coverage. So this colour that I'm using here with the Magicals is Oktoberfest Orange and... I'm going to mess that bit up. Um, the other thing I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to show you. I've got a little water spray here, and I'm just I've added a little bit of water in here just so that it bleeds out. But the orange is beautiful and vibrant. And I think what I love about the Lindy's is that their colours is completely up to you how intense your colours are with the Magicals because your you're building the colour and you're adding the water. So you can completely decide how intense your colour is going to be. So my next colour that I'm putting on my colour wheel is Cuckoo Clock Cardinal. And I just love their names. Tracy and the team have done an awesome, awesome job of naming their products. And it just makes me smile every time I, I open or see, see a release come out um, because everything has a story behind it. So there's a range of colours to do with Tracy's families, or the, the Lindy's team's um, German heritage. So hence the Cuckoo Clock Cardinal. And, oh, I forgot to do that bit. Hang on. Cuckoo Clock Cardinal, um, Oktoberfest Orange. You see the link there with the German yellow. yodeling yellow. Um, I'm just going to hit this with the heat gun so it doesn't drip down any further. Um, so yeah, the, the colours are amazing. You can certainly, and you can mix it with anything. So what the other cool thing about them is, is when you buy them in the little pots like this, they do exactly the same thing as the shakers. It's just coming out of the pots a little bit differently. Um, the... What can you use them with? Well, you can mix them with water. You can mix them with modeling paste. You can mix them with rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer to 
make a um, like a, a hand a, an alcohol ink um, you can mix it with just about anything they're not necessarily designed to go into sprays which is why Lindy's also do the Lindy's sprays they have a binder in them that makes them permanent to your page they're not going to reactivate again I love that and I like I said I love that the colors are so beautiful and vibrant so I've got some French lilac violet and all my Lindy's products this weekend are also 15% off. So the Magical Shakers, I think, come down to $6.80. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. And they are just gorgeous. So, I mean, that purple, I'm not a purple person, Ooh, but that's... <laughs> That's a very, very awesome purple. So you can see I'm just building my colours up around. I'm using a very small amount of colour here. Um, huh. Really, Phoebes, I don't love purple at all, but um, but it's it grows on me if I use it with blues and pinks. Um, I don't you, love that it's one. How you use it. It's how you use it. Yep. Thank you. Coming from my 17 year old. So next color I'm going to use is Bavarian Blue. Nat, are the sprays permanent when they dry? Yeah, they are. They've got a stain. They're like a stain. That's the best way to, to describe it, Nari. And they are excellent for... <laughs> um, they are excellent for working on fabric as well. Um, I have used them on demoed them on fabric for years and years at numerous shows around Australia and New Zealand and get some amazing get some amazing results um, I even did a henna style tattoo on Jessica's back um, a little while ago and it stained her skin perfectly so um, all right I'm just gonna pop a little bit down here because we've got to continue that down and start thinking about going that way um so that last color was barbarian blue um this there's so many beautiful teals and blues i get lost in them and i think that they are gorgeous hey there em how you going love um <coughs> right so i'm just gonna whack that on there so straight out of the pot just a just a smidgen on there just to um, wet my brush now the other thing that I want to mention is some of the Lindy's magicals in these little pots have a shimmer and some are flat um, I have got this one here in my hand is a shimmery one and the like the hibiscus rose that I used here earlier that's a flat magical so um, and the difference is the shimmer that's pretty much it so tomorrow morning I'll do a uh, a quick card class little mini card class as well showing you the difference or how to how to use them on cards how to color images with them how to oh that's beautiful sorry sidetracked shiny things um, how to use them to create beautiful backgrounds Something a little bit different to what I'm doing here, which is just being quite, you know, loose and cash with it. Need a clean baby wipe. Hey, Vanessa. I see you watching. Your dad was just here. <laughs> Casually interrupting my afternoon. All right, so I've got three colours left here, but I've got two colors left here but three wedges so let's work back this way because I totally messed that up um, so the how do you tell Tina's just asked the question how do you tell which is shimmer and which isn't so in the sprays there are starburst sprays there are and they're the shimmery ones and the and there's flat Fabio's which are the um, the flat ones with no shimmer in the uh, pots of magicals so this one actually says on it flat magical and this one 
this is just a standard magical so this one has got the shimmer so all of the shakers have a shimmer to them that is a definite and they are absolutely gorgeous so pretty much it's just in the labeling um, you can purchase the little the little pots of magicals I do have some single ones available on my website and some of them are shimmery and some of them are flat but you can also purchase them in a set I've sold out this weekend of the ones in a set oh whoops um, I've sold out of the ones in a set so I will be doing an order for though like to retop those up on Monday so they'll be here ready for the next um, show next month so the color that I'm using here is Lederhosen Laurel. Um, and like you can see, the good thing about this is, is I can build this color up. I went in a bit light, but I wanted a bit more punchy. So so I can do that. So because I'm adding water, like I mentioned before, I did need to uh dry or gesso my background so that i didn't get any um I, it wasn't going to soak up through my paper this art journal page this is the rag cotton that uh, is in dina wakeley's art journal and it's quite a porous paper it's it's very porous and it takes water it soaks in water really, really well, and it is made for acrylic paint, this, this paper, I do believe. Um, but for watercolouring, it's not ideal, so you do need to give it a really great coat of gesso. All right. So you can see kind of what I'm heading on doing here. Pretty loose with it all. And I forgot about this little wedge down here. For a quick little art journal page, this is not at all difficult to do and can work really, really nicely. This stencil is, is lovely. I really, really love it. All right, what am I going to stick in here? Does it need to be... What colour goes in there? Probably something like that, maybe? No, I'm here, aren't I? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a lighter, aquary sort of blue. So, what are we going to do? Let's find something else. Bear with me a second. Sorry, I'm back. I've got a lighter, a mint. So, something between a... A blue and a green so let me go with mixing that up oh that's not what I thought it was gonna be that's a lot darker but let's commit to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to tone that back so the way that you tone it back is I add more water and I can pull the color down and out of it okay there we go so I can make it as intense as I want it to be I can lighten it down beautifully with water. Look at that. I don't want it to be super intense, but I don't want it to disappear into my project. So what I love about art journaling, someone asked me the other day, why do you art journal? Um, for me, it's a, it's a relax. It's the opportunity to play. It's the fun. It's just trying something new. That's what it is all about. There's no judgment in art journaling. Well, there shouldn't bloody well be anyway. Um, I love that I can turn the page. I can try new techniques. I can revisit a technique. I can try something that or revisit something that I, I learned years ago. I can take a picture that I saw off Pinterest and I can have a go at it in my art journal. 
it is my my number one learning tool that's what my art journal is to me it's going to be different for everyone um and i think that that's the important thing as well it is totally different for everyone as you can see i put too much water here so i'm just heat setting it before it runs everywhere else um and what I love about art journaling is, is if you don't like it, you turn the page, like I said before. You don't have to, it's, it's not all about getting a score out of 10 and, and, and making sure that everybody loves what you do or, you, you know, it's just, just have fun with it. I think that that's probably that the number one thing that we should be getting from our our creativity is just having fun remember why we create in the first place it's to have fun not judge each other on on how it looks anyway i'll step down from my high horse um so tiffany lose blue no yeah actually that would have been perfect in there phoebe if i had put, if i was able to put my hands on it straight away so I'm just making sure this is going to be totally dry and then I'm going to outline it in pen. No such thing as a mistake. You're right, Melissa, there isn't because it's only a mistake if you think it's a mistake, number one, and if somebody else is looking at it, they don't actually know it's a mistake unless you point it out to them. I think that that's... What are you laughing at, Jess? <laughs> She's making her own jokes over here. Oh, child, you're so funny. Yeah, we, we had conversations about it. You had, oh, okay, so you talked about mistakes at school <laughs> yesterday? Great. Okay, so my next thing I'm gonna do, so there's, there's my color down. I don't want to add any more color because there's an awful lot going on over here. Um, it's lovely and warm. Uh, so the next thing I'd like to do is I need to outline these bits. So nothing more than, there's two ways I can do it. I can do it with my pen and make them perfectly straight lines and do it this way, but I don't want that. I use this as a guide to start with. I can do some of the lines in there with my pen and I'm using uh, the Pilot. Yeah, colouring outside the lines is totally my thing, Mel. Um, the Pilot number three waterproof pen. Now, I've sold out of the number two this weekend. I will be doing a, another order probably to... Mm, I was I tried to do it last night, actually, but then I had a wine. Oh, yeah, if you want a good laugh, go back and watch last <laughs> night's live Facebook where Jessica and I gave a very impromptu um, couple of glasses of wine. Hey, no, that was you. I had... I was no, so Jessica good. wasn't drinking, that's right, because she's too young. But I had had a couple of glasses of wine and did a very, very casual studio tour showing you the uh, inner secrets of my studio here. So that was a good laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, and I apologise in advance to anybody who goes back and watches that. But it's out there now on Facebook for everybody to see. Um, you know what? Let's just pop that stencil aside. I would rather do this by hand. This is something for me that I'm more than happy to be a little bit more scribbly and it, it looks a little bit more, oh, I'm going to say that word. Oh, here we go. Organic. Ah. I don't love that word. Uh -huh. It's a bit, a bit of a wanky word, but that's okay. I think that this looks a little bit better. So all my Lindy's products this weekend are 15% off. So what that means is embossing powders, including the new chunky embossing powders. Oh my God. They are all 15% off. Uh, all of the sprays, spray sets, if there's any left, are also 15 No more spray sets. No more spray sets. Are you joking? I, I just I nearly pulled out, them. I just pulled out the one here. The okay. So they will be in ready for the next sale, which will be in about a month's time, probably. Um, the 
What else is there? Single sprays, the, all the magicals, mm -hmm. they are all 15% off as Squirts. well. Squirts, yep, they were already in the clearance, but now they're 15% off as well. So, oh, hello from France. <gasps> France. France? Yes, France. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very Australian for those of you just tuning in from other countries. Um, to the point where I'm wearing my <laughs> my Australian flanny shirt. Some of you may have keenly noticed that. I did get comments after I wore it last time on my um, live Facebook. It's all about warmth, people. Um, so I'm just giving that a, a loose scribbly guide. So this is all based, so those just tuning in now, this is all based on the Stencil Girl stencil from... Pam Carriker that she designed, incredibly talented artist. Um, in fact, Jessica, can you grab for me the honor face and the romance face stencils, please? <laughs> Just to show you some other of the Pam Carriker stencils from Stencil Girl. Uh, Texture 12. 12. Yep, no, the face one's off. Honor face. Yep. So she also does these guys here. So this is the Honor Face stencil. And it is amazing because it will give you the the guide to be able to draw your own faces. Um I don't think we have a romance, we have a shadow face. No, we have romance is in there as well. It's the other design. And the strength face. Is it that one? Yep. So they are just gorgeous. Oh, there's a big one as well, Jess. Yeah. It's like a, tw uh, a 9 by 12. So they look absolutely amazing. Um, hi there, Kate Palmer. How are you? Kate, look how everyone joining. I know, right? Everyone's popping in on this Saturday afternoon for a bit of colour love. So the opportunity to create with some of these gorgeous stencils and colours um, and the fact that they're all 15% off this weekend is is a massive bonus for you guys. Um, so the Magicals, like I said, you can do so much with them. I've used them like watercolours here because I've used them with water. Nothing more than that. Um, and I know this is like ridiculous, boring while you watch me draw lines on here, but... And I haven't worked out if I'm going to put anything else on it other than some writing. But you can't get... I might do some scribbly bits. Okay. So we have used 12 different colours of the Lindy's Magicals. We used some of the Scrap Effects collage paper in the background. Um, we have used... Um, I just used a paintbrush. And some water, just making up little puddles on the side here of my, my glass mat. Um, I am going to get a little scribbly and do some doodling in and around my colour wheel. Um, everyone knows how much I love a good doodle. Oh, and doodle. Um, I love drawing me a lovely loose little line. So I... I do make a point of adding that to my artwork because that's my little touch that I like to do. So this is working out very nice. And that pencil, when I did my first pencil outline with this, that has been all hidden away now. I didn't rub it out. I just went over it with my black pen and it's all been hidden away underneath it um, and is blending into my background okay so keeping this really lovely and simple is is what I'm going to do today um, so I'm, I'm kind of liking where this is going I need a bit of a sentiment here it also needs a bit of a, um, a frame around the edge so I'm Oh my God, Emma, so you have got the Lindy shakers, but you haven't even cracked them open yet. Oh, sweetheart. Seriously. Seriously. Mom. So just a tip when you do something that I recommend. The shakers have got a shaker side and a scoopy side. 
So the shaker side looks like, I'm opening it the wrong way. The shaker side looks like this. It's got the little holes just to make it, you know, really easy for it to come out. But the other side has got the big scoopy bit. So this means that yes, you can tip this into a palette. You can get a lot more out of this side here, right? You can also dip your paintbrush straight in there and get it out. But if you accidentally crack this side open without checking, it goes really bad really quick. So <laughs> I tend to use this side more and you can see that I've got a white pen mark and I've popped that there. So with this one here, if I was gonna do like the shake and spritz uh, technique and I didn't open up the shaker side first, it would just go bad. So I grab my Pintor pen and do a white dot on that side so that I always know that that's where I'm going to, that's the side that I need to open. So there's your handy tip of the day. All right, so I need a stencil, I need a sentiment, I need a, a phrase, I need some words on there. Um, I could hand write something on there, but I'm not going to do that. I would like to, I've got a collage sheet here. So this is one of the rice paper sheets from Scrap FX. Um, and these have got some really cool things on it. So I'm going to go with this one. Creativity is not a competition. And how am I going to get that off? I'm going to tear it with a ruler because I don't want any cut lines and I want it a little bit raw. So there are some beautiful phrases on this and I've just totally ripped through that other phrase, but that'll be fine. Oh, oh there we go. So with my ruler, I'm pulling it towards it so that I don't mess it up too much. We've got people from Holland. I've got people from Holland watching. Holland, Japan, France. And Japan and France. Well, hey there to everybody from all over the world. And welcome to Adelaide in South Australia, down under. I'm trying to translate something. Okay, creativity is not a competition. So that's not going to fit all the way across. So I do want to tear it back like so and like so. How do I stick it on? I get my uh, gel medium again and get that out. And that paintbrush that I put somewhere safely on my desk. So Beatrice Creation says these pots are magic. Yes, they are. Okay, Jessica, why can't I find that? Which, what, your lid? Is it under... Oh, for goodness sakes, what have I done with it? Sorry, girls, uh, put a paintbrush in a safe place. Paintbrush? What one? Oh, maybe I washed it and I put it away. You probably did. Since when is that a thing? Okay. I know, who are you? You okay? Alrighty, so I am now going to use the gel medium again. A little bit on my brush. Putting it down onto my paper first. Popping that on next. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look, stuff it. There we go. We'll stick it down there. And then just straight over the top, nice and gently to make sure that it is adhered really, really well. And then with a cleanish finger, polish it. And that takes away your brush strokes. Helps it be incorporated into your page more. And it will almost become translucent on your page. So the not a competition is going to sit in underneath it. And overlap onto my colour wheel. Oh, I've got a big bit there that doesn't need to be there. So this is um, the Scrap Effects Collage. Oh, they're rice paper and it tears really nicely. And now that's stuck to my finger. It tears really nicely. It is a beautiful quality and it's designed and, and manufactured here in Australia. 
And at the moment, that rocks. So I think that that is so very important. Um, supporting little Australian businesses is absolutely everything. Hey there, Yana, how are you going? I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologize. Um, so, yep, and there we go. So again, I'm just going to polish that out with my finger just to make sure that it is all stuck in. And obviously that green wasn't totally dry because now my label is green. My title is green. Drying it off. Drying it off quickly. So this is like a little party all over the world. So Phoebe, what time is it where you are? What time is it? So here in Adelaide, it is 2.16 p.m. Um, so what's the time frame doing all over the world at the moment? Got to wait for that lovely 20-second delay. <laughs> and Susan and... Such an eye-catching page. Thank you. Um, not, a, not a difficult page, just a super simple page. It's supposed to be easy. Like I was saying before, art journaling should not be hard. Oh, I've just cracked open the gesso and I'm just going to tone that down a bit. Is Phoebe not watching anymore? No, Is she's she dumped watching. Me? She'd be still watching. Oh, okay. Because she replied to Yana a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, so oh. what's that? 147 Saturday. Oh, you're in Texas. And we've got Texas. Oh, my oh it's God. late in Texas. So what? Texas, Canada... Holland. I don't think Vicky's still hanging around. Where are you, Vicky? I think she left, but she was in Canada. Hol Canada, Holland, France, Japan. Right. So, oh, Tracy Harvey's watching from Port Lincoln. <gasps> Hi, my hometown where I was born and bred, <laughs> which is over on the Eyre Peninsula of South Australia. If you ever get the opportunity to come to Australia, the Eyre Peninsula is one of the most beautiful places to go to. Mm -hmm. So um, it's still Friday. <laughs> yeah, we're well into Saturday here. So um, as you can see, all I'm doing is just, just adding a little bit of white over the top. And I'm going to black pen that where I have covered it up. Toowoomba. Is it warm up there, Emma? Because it's usually warmer in mm. that end of Australia. It's certainly not warm here. It's not that bad in comparison to the last few days. Jessica, you spent the last few days in bed. You wouldn't know <laughs> if it was warm or not, honey. Uh, yeah, true. Oh, Michelle, so you've been to Lincoln as well? Yeah, look, I love Lincoln. Lincoln is, is one of my favourite places. Beautiful place. One of my bestest friends ever 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 who I went to kindergarten with who I'm still very close with she's uh, she still lives in Lincoln and uh, Tracy you know her very very well um, and yeah so I do love going back to Lincoln whenever I can um, all right so I'm just going to use my food ball because it is a thicker wider tip to just go back and make my title Stand out just that little bit more. Oh. What, Jess? Windy as beep today. Yeah. Windy as beep today. Okay. So, yeah, just, just emphasising these letters again that um, I toned in a little bit too much. A little bit chilly in Tamworth. Yeah. I've never been to Tamworth. I think of Tamworth. I think of country music. Isn't that where um, Colourpop... No. It's where Flutterby, it's where Flutterby. Anita lives. That's where, yeah. The lovely and amazingly talented Anita from Flutterby. So... Oh, speaking of which, she just tuned in. <laughs> no freaking way. Oh, Anita, I hope you... um. <laughs> that was a total fluke, right? Uh-huh. Um, if you, you have to watch it back because I just said nice things about you. And I didn't even know you were watching, so that was well done. Um, You've been told we should go. Oh, look, you know what? Get me up there, honey. I'll come and teach some classes for you there. You know that teaching is my thing. It's my jam. 
Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, speaking of, of Anita, so, um, yeah, look, I'll be there in a, in a heartbeat to come and um, teach some classes for you. <laughs> I can't believe that. I did not even know that you I'm were tuning so in. And I... Um, Anyway, moving on. All right, so I don't want to finish this page now. I just want to sit here and talk to you guys all afternoon because that's so much more fun. Um, all right, so quick little art journal page using the Lindy's Magicals. I'll just go back and recap and talk through what I have done uh, for those of you who have just tuned in. I uh, started off with a plain white art journal page out of my Dina Wakeley journal. <laughs> because it's a cotton rag paper, I needed to give it a really good coat of gesso to make sure that it was watertight and my, my colour wasn't going to soak in. I then used the collage paper from Scrap Effects and Gel Medium to stick it onto my page across here. I'll trim that bit off in a minute. Uh, used gel medium to stick that down with and polished it with my fingers to get a really lovely smooth surface. Um, excellent product, my go-to. Uh, the gesso that I used is the 13 Arts Gesso. Uh, I love it. It's very gluggy and gelatinous, but it spreads like butter and it is absolutely gorgeous and really good for stenciling. So I still have... I can see four pots on the shelf. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, I then used the, here we go, the stencil from Stencil Girl uh, and lightly traced three images onto my page with a pencil. So this is designed by Pam Carriker for Stencil Girl. Stencils this weekend are 15% off online. And then I used the Lindy's Magicals in the pots and the shakers to just with a little bit of water and a skinny little paintbrush, just get the colour onto my page. Um, nothing at all fancy. Used a really small amount of colour on my glass mat on the side here to do that. Uh, what else did we do next, Jessica? Oh, oh look, and I missed a bit. Attention. Jess is not paying attention. That's a shock. No, um, well, I was packing orders. And I then used a black pen. So my go-to pen is the Pilot Drawing Pen. And this is the number two thickness. Sorry, number three thickness. And I like it because it's waterproof. It doesn't bleed. It goes over the top of uh, paint absolutely beautifully. And love the heck out of it. I then used the dun, 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 tissue from Scrap Effects and popped on my title, incorporated it into my page with a little gesso. So that's it, guys. Thank you for popping by. Um, I absolutely love doing this with you guys online tomorrow morning or Sunday morning at 10.30 Adelaide time, 11 a.m. Australian Eastern. I'll be doing a, another little live Facebook, doing some simple techniques with magicals again. So uh, just working with watercolour paper and plain cardstock, doing some really lovely fun techniques with these. And I'll use the pots as well. So that'll be tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon at... 1.30 Adelaide time, which is 2 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard. I'm doing something else. What am I doing? Mm, art journal. I'm going to do another art journal page. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But, you know, I'll come up with something between now and then, I'm sure. So, um, so that's it from me. Jump online, nataliemay.com.au. And thank you for supporting this little family business. Family business meaning Jessica's sitting here packing orders. She's earning her I'm definitely phone family. credit. <laughs> um, Trevor is just, you know, here for moral support. Um, but we are very much a small family business and very appreciative of you and your customs. So... 
thanks guys have a fantastic saturday and um chat soon wash your hands